Hi, my name is Kocha Jeric. I'm from Belgrade, Serbia. In Belgrade, we are facing multiple sustainability challenges, the biggest of them being air pollution. High quality air is essential to a sustainable life. Unfortunately, this issue is being neglected time and time again and has led to many protests in the capital. How did a small country from the Balkans become so polluted and how can we achieve a better quality of air in the future? The last few years, heavy pollution started being noticed in Belgrade which signaled the degree of the problem, but the data is unmistakable and it shows Serbia's annual average PM 2.5 concentration, which emerged to be 23 micrograms per meter cubed, which is more than double than the international guideline limit for PM 2.5 of 10 micrograms per meter cubed. Primary air pollutants are airborne particle matter, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, and many others. Air pollution stems from a range of sources, with Serbia's reliance on lignite and coal-fueled powered stations, in addition to the burning of solid fuels such as coal and wood to heat homes. Adding to, the, to these are pollution emissions from an aging transport fleet. The biggest industrial locations that are contributing to air pollution in Serbia include petrochemical complex around the cities of Pančevo and Novi Sad, factories producing cement in Popovac, Kosjeric and Belchin. The biggest contributor to the pollution from the energy sector are lignite-powered thermal plants at Obrenovac, Lazarevac and Kostolac, which emit most of the sulfur dioxide in Serbia. The best solution to this problem is for Serbia to switch to re renewable energy, which we are slowly seeing, and for the industrial locations to renovate, add filters, and to switch from lignite coal to anthracite coal until Serbia has fully switched to reusable energy. Some of the ways you can help the battle against pollution are riding your bike to school, uh, recycling, and many other things you can see in the description.